we're back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so now we're gonna talk the database stuff. Just pick up where yep, we left yep. off, keeping our trying to keep our videos a little shorter. Yep. All right. So so we so got our table got, and it's making a so, quiz. So we got tables of quizzes. Um, so each 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 table has the CRUD operation, the four yep. CRUD operations. Yep. It has multiple, or it has the CRUD operations for multiple bits of data instead yep. of just one. And then it's got one function for every query. Okay. Um, and each of those functions all take a context as their first argument. Okay. Um, the create and update functions take in the, uh, the actual struct okay. uh, that you want to create or update. Okay. Um, the get and delete functions take in whatever the key field is. Okay. So so makes sense. So getting an ID, getting a quiz. So you you got a function get quiz that takes a context and an in sixty four. Yeah. So uh, create no ID because you got to create one. Update and delete. You need an ID because you're going to delete or update it. So, create and then read is so, also ID. So uh, read takes the ID. Update does not take the ID. The update takes the entire struct, oh, which okay. has the ID. Okay. In it. Okay. Okay. Because uh, because you're because you need to write and that all that stuff database. gets created in the background. All the yep. create, read, update, delete functions. Yep. Yeah. They're all in this database folder here, which is generated. And over here we've got on the right database. This is uh, database get, get quiz. quiz. So that's the so read. That's, that's, that's yep. So yeah, if you want to look in detail, the database function has one Go file for each table. So okay. here's the quiz uh, quiz table here it has a quiz. Oh, cool, cool. And so and this is what was generated by Go. That's this was generated. Yeah. yeah. So here's here's create quiz, create quiz multi, get quiz, get quiz multi. Oh wow, update, dude. Update quiz, update quiz. That's multi. amazing because that's like a lot of rote mundane code. Oh, yeah, to write. all of it's like near identical except for yeah. names and struct, yeah. and struct yeah. types. Yeah. So much easier just to say uh, it's a table. Here's its fields. Yeah. So you're saying, okay, there's a table. The name of the table is quiz. Here's the fields. Mm -hmm. And then implement. And what's the implement so part? Implement just copy all fields from this. Uh, oh, from this right, app engine, right. From this Goa thing. Right, because that's a type in Goa. Yeah. Yep. And uh, and then convert is. Uh, so convert means add a. Uh, add some conversion functions between database oh, format the and the, for uh, the different and views. The Goa types yeah for the different views is that yep. right yes okay and then just whatever queries we queries create is just right there and there's yep. the query yep. name and those queries go down here okay so it's just query table name and then the query yeah. name. yeah cool and so each one of those takes some context and then uh each filter yeah so like by quiz here uh has a filter course id so it takes so query takes some context and course id query quiz by course query quiz by course, query, quiz there, by course. there we go and Context and course okay. ID. All right, so you're saying build those functions. Yep. So yeah, and then query quiz got it. for list cool. has a course ID and is used, and so it's got course ID is used. Show me that in the Go again. Uh, you pulled the implementation over the, the generated code over there. So so query quiz for list. Yeah. Is this one? Okay. So context, they all take context. Yeah. yeah. Course ID because that's the first filter. Yeah is used because that's the okay, is used got it and then continue codes that bookmark because it says per call oh wow all right so as you can see it's uh, a lot of code for the bookmark to work yeah compared to just the plain filter yeah all right so i feel like i have a pretty good high level understanding and that clarified things mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i feel like i need to sleep about 20 hours yeah <laughs> just to catch up with last night and also mm -hmm. the more you learn the more you should sleep yes so it actually saturates into your brain mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's when you submit in what you learned yeah yeah maybe i'll edit these tomorrow instead of grinding through it tonight yep yep so yeah and then the database goa also generates an index.yaml this is all the indexes that get made. So yeah. app, app Engine can make use of these. Yeah. So you don't usually have to worry about this at all. Yeah. Where did that database.go index uh, builds the index YAML? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, database.go builds the index.yaml based Where's off it? of what queries you're using. Oh wow. This. And the index YAML is uh, just what you need in your microservice so for App Engine. Yeah. App Engine uses it for its database. Yeah. So like here, kind quiz is kind quiz. It yep. needs to be able to query based and that was, on the course that's what you built to, You that built piece. that for the database part. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, because otherwise, you, App Engine requires an index.yaml when you yeah. deploy. Yeah. It gets that index.yaml normally. It's yeah. auto generated when you use App Engine on your local yeah. host. The big problem is we're running microservices with multiple developers. Who knows which who's got who's run the particular bit of code to generate right. that makes right. that particular index. 
So it was much easier for me just to say, okay, I got the complete list of every query already. Build it. Build the index. And you wrote that in Go? Yep. Yeah, that's a, one of the Go outputs from that plugin. That's cool. All right, I think that was a good video. You got anything more you want to add to that one on databases? This one's nope. kind of about databases. Yep, so nope, and I think that's right. actually just about it for... We've got the, done a good intro. Yeah, that's, 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 that's given pretty people, much... Yeah, I can't go any further really yeah. without just going into yeah. detail about specific endpoints. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So if you want to see more, like this is definitely a good... Well, we'll do that in the next video. Yeah. See you in the next video.